That's not good. Normally this thaw comes in about a month, mid-March. With all the rain we had, it came early. Now this is the government dock. We're going to head down to uh, Lighthouse Cove where the mouth is. Uh, apparently it's backing up pretty good there. Not good either way. Like I said, we're going to head over to Lighthouse Cove where the mouth of the Thames meets Lake St. Clair. Uh, we were there just the other day doing an ice fishing report. And like I said, a couple days ago, there's a guy right at the end of the dock here fishing. But uh, Farmer Paul gave me a call. I rhymed again. And said that the uh, ice is backed up. There's uh, sheds and people's docks floating down the river. We're going to head down there and see what it looks like. All right, we have made it to the ramp here at Lighthouse Cove. And the ice is going nowhere. Have a look. So that is Lake St. Clair. See, the ice is dead still. And if we look this way up here, that's the Thames River. You see the ice coming in and stopping. Now we look at some of the uh, pieces of ice there. It looks like it was probably about six, seven inches thick, so that's not too bad. But because it's all jammed up here, it's got nowhere to go, which is eventually going to cause flooding upriver. This here was all moving and it just came to a stop. So it looked like it might have cleared up, but no. When this stops here, the ice all jams up and then down the Thames River heading towards Chatham eastbound, uh, everybody floods down there because it's jammed up here and there's no mechanism here to free the ice. 
Now, if you look over there, the lake is open, but it's jammed here and it jammed right straight across the river there. Now up the Thames behind me a little bit, it's open, but there's still more ice coming. And uh, as it jams, it's going to flood. Uh, might stop by Farmer Paul's in a little bit, uh, check out his fields. He said his pond is flooded and his fields are flooded and it's a mess over there too. We have made our way down to the ditches where we do a lot of fishing. Got good news and bad news. Have a look. Good news. I'll give you that first. Ditches are full. Bad news. Well, that looks like chocolate milk. Now, even if the ditches were to stay this full, it would be many weeks before it cleared up enough to fish in. Oh, yeah, you can fish it, but chances of catching something are going to be pretty slim. Look at this side over here. It's full, for sure. You can see the fields are just saturated. There's just nowhere for the water to go. Here's another end of that ditch system. It's like we either get nothing or we get it all. How dirty that water is. water and my hydro guys got that truck in about foot and a half two feet of water working on the poles So the property over here is Farmer Paul's and just on the other side of this dike is a pond which you guys have seen me fish many times but beyond that far tree line that's not a pond well it is now that field is flooded now with all that flooding there are bigger things to worry about but I wonder how many big bass got out of that pond and are now in that field. I'm guessing there's a few. Now across the road, this is not Farmer Paul's. Look at all that water. And just on the other side of that dike right over there, there's a nice big L-shaped pond. And we fish that as well. Haven't, haven't lately, but we do fish that sometimes. But I just cannot believe the amount of water that's out here again. This is the third time in the past seven months that that has been flooded. And they say farmers got it easy. I'm gonna go with I don't think so. So once again, we got ourselves a mess here. Uh, if it gets cold again and freezes up, it's gonna create a major problem, especially at the mouth of the Thames there. But we hope it doesn't. If it's going to stay this way, it might as well warm up. So right now it's 4 degrees. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that a little bit of what's going on in our neighborhood. Uh, I'm sure it's worse elsewhere, but this is what we're dealing with. See you all in the next one.